Welcome to our Work Samples webinar. We'll be talking about support materials and all the ways that you can ask for media in the GoSmart tool. We'll talk about some definitions. Our first definition is work samples. Though the language used in GoSmart is work samples, this is a term that frequently is interchangeable with support material, media or multimedia, attachments, uploads, and several other uh, terms that I've heard used uh, through our clients. The next definition is work sample module. This is a section of the administration tab, agency editor sub tab, where admin will set parameters and create the language for the applicant's work sample banks, also known as the online portfolio. This correlates to the applicant's tab titled manage work samples. You can see right here some of the allowable work sample tool media and the file types that they can upload. And remember that this is a site-wide setting. It's not application specific. So this is setting the parameter for your applicant's entire um, lifetime on your GoSmart site, not at the application level. The next definition is the work samples banks. As I said, this is the online library within the applicant's GoSmart account where they can manage their media. We'll talk about work sample select pages. This is a type of page that you can add one time to a cycle, and it allows applicants to attach any or all types and numbers of media. Then we've got our file upload field, which is a type of question field that you can add unlimited times to an any custom narrative page of any page set. And these allow for PDF, DOCX, and XLSX files. Now that we've covered some definitions, let's talk about the two methods for requesting work samples in GoSmart. Option one is a two-step process for both you and your applicants for accepting all media types. And this will make use of the work sample module and bank and the work sample select page. And note that only one work sample select page is available per cycle. Our second option is a one-step process for, each, for you and your applicants and it allows for the upload of PDF, DOCX, and XLSX files. This is an upload file field that you'll see on a custom narrative page, and it's an alternative or an addition to the work sample select page. And note that the upload file fields can be added to any custom narrative page of any page set without limits. So let's dive a little deeper into option one. This is going to make use of the work sample banks and the work sample select page. Step one for you as admin is going to be creating those settings of your work sample module elements on the administration tab, agency editor sub tab. Step two is going to be including a work sample select page in your application or possibly your interim or final report if you don't use one in the application and then setting the parameters for that application media. Then step one and two for your applicants can happen kind of in tandem with your steps or follow your steps altogether, but their first step is going to be uploading their media to their work samples banks from their manage work samples tab and then their second step is going to be attaching the appropriate media from the work sample bank to the work sample select page. So looking into those a little deeper, step one for the admin is setting up that media module. So this is where you're going to designate what applicants see and do in their manage work samples area. The first thing you'll set up is the work samples module. Now by default, every applicant gets 250 megabytes. This is a setting for the portfolio, not an individual application. So they have 250 megabytes to spend throughout their lifetime on your GoSmart site. This is set up by GoSmart staff. And if you find that 250 megabytes is just not enough, we can certainly talk about adding some space um, to your subscription for an additional cost. This is also where you'll determine which media types you will accept within all your applications. We recommend turning all media types on at this level, and then at the application level, you can determine whether or not you'll accept all media types. The second section is your work sample module storage section. Again, we recommend that you use your total megabyte space if you don't want to limit sizes at this level. And what that means is, if your applicants are allotted 250 megabytes for their entire portfolio, if you type 250 in these spaces, you're basically allowing them to spend that 250 as they see fit. Now, if you want to give them stricter guidelines and say, we never want 
movies that are larger than 50 megabytes, and we never want documents that are larger than 10 megabytes. You certainly can put those numbers in here and set that parameter. We just find that the, the lower you set this number, the more you'll be fielding questions from applicants when they're unable to upload a media file uh, that they'd like to upload. We also recommend that you set this max number high, maybe uh, between 20 and 30 samples, or even higher if you'd like. What that's going to do is just cut off the number of uploads after a certain amount of files have been added. And again, we just think that you should make this high so that you have to field fewer questions when your applicants reach that ceiling. The last thing you'll see is the work sample module text section. What this allows you to do is add language to your applicant's work sample module banks and give them some direction about what your expectations are for that tool. We recommend that you load our default text because it includes directive language that lets them know that this is step one of a step two process, really spells out that this is not the application, this is just the portfolio, and um, addresses some of the questions that we've heard in the past. Now you're welcome to load our default text and then amend it to meet your needs. So if you want to throw in our default text and then add some information that's quite specific to your agency, that's perfectly fine. Now step two for you as admin is going to be adding that work sample select page. You'll add the work sample select page to the cycle, typically in the application. And as I said, you'll only be able to add this one time per cycle. So if you know that you're going to be asking for a lot of media in the final report, we might recommend that instead in the application that you use the upload file field question rather than your work sample select page. So let's think about the cycle as a whole when we're creating it so that we can make the best use of a work sample select page. Now you'll note on the right here you've got a couple of options when you're adding this page. The work samples page includes, like every other page, an info instruction text area. This is where we recommend that you first place perhaps a bulleted list of the items that you're going to be requesting. Then we recommend that you include our templated text that can be found at this link to direct your applicants how to use this page. Basically it's two short bulleted paragraphs that walk them through how to attach items to this page and what to do if they've not even yet uploaded items to their work sample bank. Now the next thing you'll see is the sample ordering info instruction text field. This is totally optional and we rarely see it used, but where this comes into play is further down the, sh the screen on your applicant side, they will see all of the media they've now attached to this application and they'll have the opportunity to reorder it. If you feel that you or your panelists need to see media in a specific order, this is where you'd want to throw that directive into and then they're able to, uh, just below this language, reorder and save the new order. But again, if you're not concerned with the order of uh, media that's attached, you can leave this blank, this space blank and move right on to the settings. So at the bottom of the page, you can see that you can determine the max file size and the minimum and maximum samples. And this is why I say on the work sample module setting, you really want to go big because at the page setting, you can really get granular and determine how your folks should use this page. So in this example, we see again that we've set the max file size to 250, which really just allows the applicants to spend their megabytes as they see fit. But you may set some much stricter parameters here so that images can never be more than five megabytes and video can never be more than, for instance, 50 megabytes. So you would determine those settings here and that's specific to this application. If you want to set a minimum sample, you're welcome to do so. We recommend being very careful with this setting because what this will do is keep any applicant from submitting before they've attached at least the minimum samples that you've designated here. And we've seen frequently that people will say, you know, we've, we've given our applicants the opportunity to upload as many as three images or five documents or what have you. But if it's possible that an applicant may not need to attach any media, you want to make sure that they're able to submit. So be careful with minimum samples, uh, but certainly use that tool as you see fit. If absolutely every applicant needs to upload at least three documents that you've asked for, then certainly set your minimum samples for documents to three. Alternatively, your max samples will of course determine how many uh, on the top end your applicant can submit. 
And if you set this to um, zero, you're basically going to turn off this media type. So maybe for this specific application, you don't even want to allow video. So you would set that max sample to zero, and then on your applicants page, they'll only see the opportunity to upload image and audio and documents, for example. So those are your two steps in using the work sample tools. For your applicants, their first step is going to be using their Manage Work Samples tab. What applicants will see is the parameters and the language that you put in place in that agency editor work sample module section. They'll be able to upload their work samples to the banks. They will see a host of optional detail questions, none of which are required except the title. So when they go to upload, they can give you quite a bit of detail or none at all. So if you feel like you want to make use of those detail fields, by all means add to our default text to say please fill out the following fields on the following page. Applicants can use this bank to manage, modify, and remove media at any time unless those items are committed, at which point they will either need to submit the in-progress application or detach, and I'll walk you through that in a moment. Now step two is going to be attaching those media files to the work sample select page that you've included in the cycle. So what they will do is they will get to this page in your application, and you'll see the example over here on the right. They see a short list of what they're expected to attach, and then they'll see our default um, tool, which will include an attach images or attach X media button, if there's already media in that bank. They'll see a line of text that will specify how many uh, media files they can attach, how many they must attach if there's a minimum sample, how many they have attached, and the file size not to be exceeded. And all of those numbers come from your settings when you create this page. Then the second bit they'll see is specifically that media bank button, and then a lot of language that walks them through how to add media to that bank if they've not yet done so. They'll use the attach button to attach the appropriate media, and then, um, as I said, at the bottom of this page, they'll be able to reorder if you've given them that directive, or they can move right on, and they have basically um, attached the, the appropriate media that you want to see when they've submitted the application. Now, we did recently update the language of this page, specifically around these buttons and the, the language um, that follows with them. So if you have recently cloned a cycle uh, from years past, you might want to um, go back and take a peek if you've added any language that might have pertained to how to use those buttons because they might be outdated at this point. All right, so that was all option one using the work sample tools. Now your next option, if you want to alleviate all of that, is to use the upload file field. And basically, this just allows you to ask for a, a document right on the custom narrative page and allows your applicant to upload right to there. So there's no two-step process. What you'll be doing is adding one or multiple file upload fields to any custom narrative page of any page set, an unlimited amount, and then your applicant will upload a PDF, a docx, or an XLSX file directly to that field by clicking the button that, that uh, goes right along with it. So we recommend using this to fill the void of not being able to use a second work sample select page or to streamline the process by which your applicants can directly upload their support materials. We recommend these fields when you're only asking for documents. However, if you will be requesting image, video, or audio, we might recommend the work sample select page unless you believe that you can instruct your applicants to convert JPEGs to PDFs, which is quite simple, and to use text fields to provide video and audio links to their media that might already be hosted on a YouTube or a Vimeo site. We find this to be a really clean process as well, so if you are interested more in how to make that work um, but aren't quite sure how to, to move forward with it, for sure reach out and I'll walk you through it. Now let's talk about some best practices. We recommend that you set up your work sample module prior to inviting applicants to your GoSmart site. We recommend that like every page, you add your work sample select page to your application and set your parameters before making the page set available to applicants if you'd like for them to attach multimedia fields, files. And basically that's just best practice for any time you're creating a, a page set 
You never want to invite applicants in until you're 100% done creating all the pages. We recommend that you use our default work sample module text language that can be found via that link at the top of that section, as well as this default language at this link on the work sample select page to give your applicants direction on their two-step process. You should add a file upload field if you are just asking for documents, or you can ask for images as PDF files and video and audio as URL links. Remember to pay special attention to any new cycles that have been cloned from years past and update any language that may reflect those outdated buttons and the language on the work sample select page. And then we talked briefly about committed media. And I'll show you what that might look like to an applicant. When an applicant attaches a media file to a work sample select page and it's still in progress, that media file is considered committed. And the reason for that is that we want to ensure that whatever they've attached to the application is 100% the same file that gets submitted when they click submit further down the road. So once an item is attached to an in-progress application, it will say committed when the applicant is in their work sample bank. Now if they find that they need to modify that file or delete it perhaps, um, they won't be able to as long as that application is still in progress. So they have two options. They can either return to the application and submit it, or if that's no longer uh, relevant, they can return to the application and detach that media file by clicking on the attach button, clicking on the checkbox to uncheck that media file, and then saving such that that file is no longer associated with that in-progress application. Then when they return to their media bank, they will see that the item is no longer committed and they're able to either modify or remove it. So as always, if you have any questions about anything we've discussed, please reach out to me at jessica.gronick at westaff.org or always check out our knowledge base at gosmart.org backslash knowledge underscore base. And then specifically check out these two tutorials and guides to look at anything we've discussed here today. Thank you for joining us.